Hi guys, today let's talk about silicone oil. Uh, it seems to be a basic, but uh, pretty much all the RC cars today include silicone oil in the differential and shock absorbers. So let's see some quick rules that you need to apply to be sure that you get the best setup and the best behavior out of your car. First, you need to use always the same brand. It's super important, but from one to another, even if the quality is 100% sure, uh, with the XTR oil, the one I use, for example, it's the one I recommend, it's super high quality. But from one brand to another, there is always a few changes in the way they're gonna measure, the way they're gonna produce. So they are not really equal from one to another. So please stick to the same brand. So as soon as you wanna go with a lighter oil or a thicker oil, you're sure that if you are in the same brand, you are in the same range and you are doing exactly what you want, either on the differential or the shock absorber. Second rule for CST versus WT, we have a blog article uh, if you want to make sure that it's it's matching with XTR, the oil is going to be the same. It's just the way we measure the oil that will change. So for the Runner Folk edition, it is green. The oil is exactly the same. There is no additive. It's just the color that has been added to the oil. But the oil is strictly the same, same quality, same material. So you can go from one to another. The oil is exactly the same. Talking about the temperature, even if you have a super high quality oil, like I said before with the XTRs, um, when the temperature is changing, we are in November now talking about temperature. So when you're practicing in the morning or when you go into the main in the afternoon, for example, there is a big uh, temperature difference. So if you want to have the exact same setup, you're going to have to change the shock oil. For the diffs, there is not much of a difference because it really depends on the car, the way the diffs reacts, the oil you're using, and it's also around the overall temperature of the car. It's inside the car, so the temperature from winter to summer is pretty much the same. But for the shocks, it's really open in the car, so it's really depending on the air temperature and the track temperature. So make sure you adjust the shock oil with the temperature. Uh, the rule I apply is if the temperature changes from 5 degrees Celsius or 10 degrees Fahrenheit changed, 50 CST or 5 WT according to the temperature. So if the temperature rises 5 degrees Celsius, rise also your shock oil uh, uh, of 50 CST. So if you have a 500 CST shock oil, temperature is rising 5 degrees, go 550, etc., etc. If it's reducing, go the same way. At least you're gonna have the same setup on the table and on the track. It is not gonna change the way your car reacts, it just makes sure that your car will be strictly the same depending on the temperature condition. Let's talk about the oil and piston package. I already did a tutorial like that on the shocks, so make sure you check it on our YouTube page or the blog articles. But when somebody asked me about what sh which shock oil I use, it's really depending on the car, the material of the piston, the number of holes, and also the shock body. So all those tolerances are different from one car to another. So you can't say I'm using eight holes 1.2 with 500 and it's gonna work on every other car because it's not true. It is changing from one car to another and from you know the way the shock reacts. And so we can't really say you need to use that oil for that piston. Also, you need to match the oil with the shock piston and to make sure that you have what you want on the table and on the track. So there is no proper rule on which oil you should use. We are always trying to stick in a 300 to 700 range for an eight scale buggy, for example. But as soon as you feel comfortable with your car, then it might be the right setup. For the maintenance, uh, if your shock is not leaking, if your diff is not leaking, you don't really need to maintain it uh, super often. Let's say for every race is good. If you're using emulsion shocks, it needs a little bit more maintenance because it depends on the air temperature and the air pressure. So you might need a little bit more maintenance on that. That's it for today. See you soon for a new episode. Bye-bye.